Hi there, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Prestige Liquids. My name is Andrew, and as always, it is fantastic to have you here with me again on another whiskey review video. Now, in today's video, we are going to be continuing on with the Australian Whiskey Advent Calendar. But before we do that, please make sure that you hit the bell notification and the subscription button so that you can stay up to date with all future content. Um, we are getting very close to the end of this uh, of this calendar now. Um, I can't believe how quickly it has gone. It is just absolutely flown by and there have been some absolutely fantastic, absolutely, yeah, some, definitely some absolute fantastic whiskies in this set. Uh, but yeah, let's um, let's crack on and let's see what we get for day 21. So here's the calendar here. Um, day 21. All right, let's see how we're going to go with getting this out. I might have to go from behind one oh or the old tiles are all falling out now all right let's see finally oh the, the whole thing is just falling apart damn this is one thing that i wish that they had done was that i wish they had done all the things in sequential order not um scattered all over the place it has made it a quite a bit more difficult to um to get into the set see now all of these other things are all falling off now but i guess it doesn't matter we don't need them so day 21 ah, awesome okay this is one i'm definitely excited about so i am a big fan of florio um, and that's what we have in this uh, for this review another florio release um, so this is their house malt bottled at 46% ABV. Now I don't have any other information about this one at the moment, but, um, I will look into it after this and any other information I will provide in the description box down below. I also have a, uh, a, a playlist set up for this calendar series. So I'll also put a link in the description for that. And since I have also reviewed a few other Florio whiskies in the past, I will also um, put in a link to the Florio playlist also. So, <laughs> um, there's a lot of also's there. All right, let's get on with this review and see what we get. Uh, I'm sure it's going to be absolutely stunning. Florio is amazing. Oh, I, should also, I also forgot to mention they are located in South Australia. So, on the nose, let's see what we get. So, cheers. Okay, so this is very malty. Uh, very cereal grain forward. Peat as well. I think I may be picking up a bit of, like, tawny cask influence. But it's, it's very light and in the background. It's definitely not the main feature. Now, I have had a, um, a tawny cask um, release from Florio before. And the tawny notes were definitely there in the forefront. Or at least a lot more noticeable. This is a bit more subdued. So, think of more of like your stewed fruit. So, stewed apples, pears, raisins. Kind of like stewed peaches. I'm getting some spice as well. Cinnamon, clove. A little bit of licorice. There's a certain like fermented note that I'm getting to the uh, like to the fruits. In some ways, this is actually quite... So uh, I shouldn't say. It, look, it, it is a little bit similar, but nowhere near as funky as what you would get on a blood knock. Some nice barrel char influence coming through as well. Nice and smoky. Touch of oak as well. Dark chocolate. And yeah, quite a bit of leather. That's a very enjoyable nose. Alright, let's see what we get on the palate. So, cheers. Yeah, that's classic Florio right there. It's got this nice 
rich, sweet, and syrupy mouthfeel. The first thing you'll kind of notice that it's very the taste and the texture is very similar to the syrup that you would get in like a fruit cup or say like a canned fruits. Lots of vanilla and caramel at the front. Tobacco, leather, dark chocolate. And then the fruits start to come in. So again, all your stewed peaches, apricots, apples. A little bit of pear. I'm just loving the texture. The mouthfeel just keeps evolving. It just becomes syrupy and then chewy. It feels like there's something constantly going on. It is such a enjoyable mouthfeel. I'm actually really enjoying the sweetness of this. I'm not normally a fan of very sweet things. But this is more of a, a fruity sweetness. And that's something that I do enjoy. Um, it's not so heavy on the, the sugars and like the, not the typical candied um, sweetness. Um, some more tropical fruits are starting to come out now as well. So now I'm also starting to get a bit of mango, a little bit of pineapple. They're, this is a very versatile palette and it just keeps changing and changing and changing. Um, there's also these really nice hints of smoke that just keep uh, wafting through and just complementing everything along with that vanilla. The vanilla note is actually really nice. Um, it's not overpowering, but it's there and it complements everything. Uh, moving along to the finish, again, very smooth, very friendly. Um, for the finish, I would say that the profile is very similar to what you'd get on the palette, so I'm not really picking up anything different there. But overall, it, this is just an absolute brilliant flavor experience. I think this is what... For those of you who have tried Florio, you this is what you expect. You know that you are drinking Florio when you are having this. This is a whiskey that is absolutely perfect for beginners and veteran drinkers as well. It has something for everybody. Um, prominent notes that um, even, say, new or recent whiskey drinkers will be able to pick up on. And just an absolutely enjoyable experience for uh, long-term drinkers as well. So... Florio, fantastic job. I am so happy to see that there have been two of your releases in this set. Um, the previous one was the Jabberwocky, and that was a stunning, absolutely incredible whiskey. And I'm glad to say that I have enjoyed this one just as much. I say I, I, I love Florio. They are definitely... In, I guess, like my top five um, ranking of Australian distilleries at the moment. They are absolutely brilliant. Um, so I don't really have much else to say about that. I'm going to leave it at that. Um, again, if you have not yet done so, please make sure that you hit the subscribe button. Uh, you'll really be helping the channel grow. And you'll also be helping to spread um, some much well-deserved um, attention to these brilliant Aussie distilleries. So again... Thank you very much. My name is Andrew and I'll see you all again on the next video. Get this.